They ain't got no spirit. Amen. They may have a bunch of entertainment. Amen. They may have a bunch of a, a good group, a bunch of good singers, and maybe a big time educated Come preacher. On. But if they ain't got God, they ain't got nothing. Amen. Yeah. I'd rather have what we got, honey. Just get all that stuff they got. Amen. They can have their big fancy churches. Give Come me on. a little old church that's seeking God. Somebody that's hungry for your word. Amen. Somebody that's after your own heart, like what little old David was. Amen. We need to be after God's heart. That's all matters. Amen. Yeah. I ain't seeking the big churches. I ain't seeking the big crowds. Amen. When God called me to preach, He didn't say, I'm going to give you a big crowd. He said, preach my word. Amen. Amen. And preach it like it is. Preach the word. Amen. Don't water it down. Don't compromise it. Honey, if they don't like me, they just have to run me off. Amen. That's what I told my church. Amen. I said, if you're looking for a preacher who's going to preach it the way you want to hear it, honey, you done messed up. But yeah. all I'm going to preach is what God gives me. Amen. And all I'm going to preach is the true word of God. And the best that I know happens. And that's what He called me to preach. Come on. Amen. And that's what I got to preach. Amen. If they want them somebody to pat them on the back, I said, you're going to get somebody else. Yeah. And if you want a preacher that you're going to agree with everything He said, if you, I told him, I said, if you're looking for a pastor that's going to agree on everything just like you, yeah. then you better be the pastor. Good luck. Yeah. But you ain't going to agree on everything. Amen. Come on. I mean, you ain't going to agree on everything better than this. Amen. Oh, right. I know there's going to be a little difference, but you better agree on the blood of Jesus. Amen. We better agree that we, we're coming into a church house to worship Him, to lift Him up. That's what yeah. we come for, Brother Billy. I don't come just to see just this and folks. Amen. And I'm glad to see everybody here, but they ain't the reason to come. Amen. I didn't just come to preach His Word. I come to worship the Lord. Amen. Yeah. I come to lift Him up, and that's what it's all about. Amen. Amen. That's what He's looking for tonight. Amen. He's looking for a church that'll come together to worship Him. That's what he's always said. He's looking for people that come together to work on people. When they come together in that upper room, Brother Billy, yeah. the Holy Ghost fell like a wind come through the place. Amen. And that's what happened today if we'll come together. Oh, but we gotta come together. Too many churches ain't coming together. Too many folks ain't come. Too many come families ain't coming together. Yeah, come on. Amen. It's hard to get anybody to come together, amen. Come on. Amen. It's hard to get anybody to agree and to try to come just to worship the Lord. Yeah. Put everything else aside. Amen. Leave all your problems. He said, and Psalms he said, enter into my gates with thanksgiving. Come into on. my courts with praise. When we come through them doors, we're to leave everything else outside. Amen. Come we're to come in with praise. Lifting them up and thanksgiving. That we got a place that we can come and worship come God. Amen. Church like Brother Bill talking about, we take a lot of things for granted. Yeah, we do. Amen. There's a lot of places that can't do this tonight. Come on. There's a lot of people that would give anything to be able come to go yeah. to God's house tonight, amen. But they can't make it. There's come people on. in the rest of them, I guarantee you, love to be here tonight. Amen. amen. There's people in jail cell, and I know there's people in hell. Oh, yes. Would love to be yeah. in a little old storefront church. Amen. I promise you, Michael, oh, uh, if Michael Jackson went to hell, I don't know if he did or not. I hope he didn't. I hope he got his life right with God. But if he did, or if, just like that rich man that's down there, I promise you, he'd give every bit of his treasure. Yeah. Every bit of his gold, every bit of his money, for one more night in a little yeah. old front church. Oh, brother, Amen. Brother, he'd give anything brother, to be here brother, tonight. Brother, Amen. To have one more chance, brother Bill. Come on. One more chance to give his life, yeah. life with Jesus. Honey, we've got that one more chance. We're not promised the next one. Come on. All we're promised is what we got tonight. Amen. All you, all you got is a breath that's inside your lungs. Right now. That's all belongs to you. Yeah. The one that you got in right now. The next one don't belong to you. Come on. Amen. We're not promised that next one. If you got your Bible, turn with me to Luke, the 8th chapter. Luke, the 8th chapter. Verse 1. It's a familiar story. All of you have probably heard it a thousand times. The sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed it, some fell by the wayside and were drawn it down, and the fires of the air devoured them. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it were sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up with it and choked it. And others fell on good ground, and sprung up and bare fruit, and hundredfold. When he had said these things, he, cri he cried, He that have an ear, let him hear. Now this sword went out to sow, Brother Billy. Yeah. And every bit of the seed that he sowed was good. Yeah. Wasn't nothing wrong with the seed. Yeah. Amen. What was wrong was the ground. Yeah. Amen. And that's what's wrong with the church today. We'll read just a little bit more and you'll find out that seed was the Word of God. Yeah. 
That's what we'll find out. That's what's wrong with the church today. There's nothing wrong with the seed. Come on. The seed's still the same. He yeah. said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. The seed has not changed, Brother Bill. Come on. The, what's wrong well, with the church today? It ain't got no good ground. Amen. The yeah. ground ain't ready. Their, their hearts is hardened. Come Amen. On. They, they, they turned their hearts to the cares of this world. And, the, Come on. and so the first thing is coming along, this and that and that. And everything's yeah. going on through fast. Amen. That's, what, that's what's wrong with the church today. Come on. They can't receive the seed. Yeah. Amen. And we got to get our hearts. We got to get the ground ready to receive the seed. You take a farmer goes out and, and, and gets ready to plant his crop, brother. Billy, the first thing he'll do, he'll go out and he'll till the ground and he'll yeah. dish the ground or whatever it takes to get the ground ready. That's his first goal. Get the yeah. ground ready to receive the seed. Amen. Yeah. So we got to get the ground ready. We got to get our hearts ready to receive. When when a man of God gets up with the word, we got to get our hearts ready to receive. Amen. And accept it as it comes forth. Amen. Because that's all that's going to do you any good. So it's going to come for you ain't going to get no harvest if you don't get a seed in the ground. Come on. Amen. We've got to get a seed inside of our heart. Amen. So many times we reject the seed. Yeah. A lot of times we reject it because we don't like who's on it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hallelujah. Come we, on. We, we, first thing we look at, well, who's he to be telling me? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. When a man of God is behind a pulpit preaching the word, it's God speaking to you. When he's under that anointing, hey, honey, it's God speaking to you. When you open this book and start reading, and, 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 and Brother Billy, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to hear him. Just speak to me. He speaks to me every time I read his word. Amen. Every yeah. time I get in his word, he speaks to me. He's speaking to us. Honey, he's speaking to us tonight. Amen. we got to get our ground ready amen, to receive the seed. Amen. Where the seed can come forth and do its work that, that's called out to do. That's the reason we ain't bringing forth no fruit. Come on. Because the ground ain't ready to receive the seed. Let's read a little bit more. Drop down to the 11th uh, verse. Now, this parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are those that heard. Then came, came the devil and took away the word out of their heart, lest they shall believe and be saved. Now, the first thing happened. We'll hear it and the devil will come along and take it right out of your heart. Yeah. Amen. It's, it, it, it's, it'll take it away from you by saying, well, who's he to preach to me? Yeah. Amen. They'll steal it. Amen. Come That's on. what he come for. Kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. Amen. If he can steal that word out of your heart, Brother Bill, and they, and they don't get in that good ground, amen, where it can, where it can grow inside of you, amen, then he's done what he come, come to do, amen. Amen. Those by the wayside are those that heard. Then came the devil and took away the word out of their heart, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which. When they heard, received the word with joy. And there had no roots, which, which for a while believed, and in the time of temptation, fell away. They got the word until the battle come along, to the storm blowing. I mean, this place, a few weeks ago, this big old storm come through, and y'all know, and it tore up a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I noticed a couple of fields over on the levee between uh, Buttonsbury and Sacramento there. And one field, the corn was blown all the way down over the And the field right beside it was still standing. They had been blown over some, but they were still standing. Yeah. And the difference was, the one over here that got blown down, the ground had never been. They put it in that no-till. Yeah. It just like they never did till it. And the roots of that crop were just barely in the ground. They wouldn't root it. Yeah. Amen. They never did get rooted. And then when the storms come, it blows it over. If we don't get this word inside of us and get it rooted in our heart, come when on. the storms come, we ain't gonna be able to stand. Amen. Come if on. we get it, but the devil knows, honey. If, if you, you can get this word down in your heart and get it rooted and grounded in His word, we can stand. Yeah. No matter what kind of storm comes, what what comes and what goes, if we we get it down in our heart, because we, what we're standing on is not on us. We're standing on the word that we got grounded down in my heart, oh. honey. We can stand. We can stand on every promise. Amen. Just like I was talking about earlier, He said, "I'll never leave you, never forsake you." You can stand on it if you'll get it rooted in your heart. Come on. Amen. But if it ain't rooted in your heart, first time the devil comes along, yeah. it'll blow you over. Come on. Amen. Because it never did get rooted in it. It ain't good enough just to read this thing. We got to get it down in our heart. We got to get rooted in the Word of God. Amen. We got to trust Him. We got to believe it. Amen. We got to do it. First, we got to be here of His Word. Yeah. Then we got to believe it. Then we got to get it rooted down in our hearts. Yeah. And then it'll bring more fruit. Amen. Come on. If we can get it all in that category. Amen. And they which fell among the thorns 
are they which they have heard go forth and were choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring forth no fruit to prosper. Perfection. Yeah. No fruit to perfection. Yeah. Because they got wrapped up in Come the cares yeah. of this world. Honey, that's where most people are. Amen. Amen. That's, that's the reason a lot of people ain't church tonight. Come on. Because they're wrapped up in the cares of this world. Come on. Amen. I've been there. I was wrapped up so much, wrapped up in Kentucky basketball. Honey, if it's on church night, the church you just have to get it. Come on. Or if I did go to church, Sister Rich, that's all I had on my mind. Come on. I what was going on, what the score was. Yeah. Sometimes I even went outside the door, turned the radio on, see what the score was. It's pitiful, but it's the truth. Come on. And there's people still doing it today because they, you know, we ain't got to, we ain't really where we need to be, amen. Come on. We got to get, get that seed planted inside yeah. of us. Not get caught up in the cares of this world. This world's going to burn. Come on. Amen. And I know we got to have things and we, we need to things. we got to have places to live and stuff like that. But if you let it get in front of you and God, oh, yeah. you're in trouble. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. If you, if you let your job get in front of you and God, you're in trouble. Come on. And I know people need a job and they got to make a living. Amen. But if you let it get between you and God, the first thing you know is your God. Yeah. That's what Kentucky basketball was for me. It was my God. But that's what I put first. Yeah. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything else will be added unto you. Yeah. If we we'll seek him, Brother Billy, amen, and stand on his word, everything's going to be took care of. Yeah. Everything's going to be all right, amen. But well, we got to put a seed in the ground. Amen. Galatians 6 and 7. Billy can quote you this, I promise you, yeah. He's quoted me much. God is not wild. God is not wild. Yeah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that's a, he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall his flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall his Spirit reap life everlasting. Amen. Amen. So it's what we're sowing to. Yeah. Amen. Where we're putting our seed. Where are you putting your seed at tonight? Are you putting it in good ground? Come on. Amen. I know you all, all know the story about the woman. Who had the meal barrel and a little bit of oil. That was her seed, Brother Billy. Come on. Amen. Yeah. If somebody else had come by except for the man of God said, he told Elijah, he told him, he said, go down. Let me turn over because I'll get it all messed up. It's in First Kings, 17th chapter. Yeah. Eight birds. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zenipath, which belong to thine, and well there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to stand. See, he done told the widow woman that he was sending somebody that she needed to take care of. Come on. He told her that he was sending somebody that she needed to plant her seed right there, Brother Billy. Amen. Yeah. If she didn't give it to somebody else, her and her son would have died. But she put her seed in good ground. She put her seed where God told her to put it. Yeah. Honey. And the Bible says that her meal barrel never did run dry. Come on. Her oil never did run out. The rain come upon the earth. Where are you sowing your seed at? There's a lot of people probably building to sowing seeds. The radio station. That's preaching. Huh. I don't know what you call it. It ain't the word. Come on. Amen. That's preaching anything and everything yeah. that they want to hear. And that's where they're so to see. But you take a man of God that's standing on the old fashioned King James Version Come Bible on. and standing on the word of God, it's hard to get a dollar out of anybody. Amen. Amen. It's hard that's to get a, it's hard to get anything out of anybody yeah. to back that ministry. Yeah. Amen. But you can preach them that everything's all right. You can live like hell and still make it. Come and on. you can pack your house and yeah. you, can, you can pack your bill for You can build your church and you can get all the fancy stuff in your church because that's what they want to hear. Yeah. Amen. They want you to tickle their ears. Honey, yeah. but they ain't going to work at the hell. That's just flat the way it is. Amen. They're yeah. preaching them a lie and they ain't going to send them to work at hell. Come on. Amen. Yeah. But you take an old fashioned preacher that's got a little backbone. 
that's going to stand for what God called him to preach. Amen. Come on. Honey, the people say they got called to preach, and we're preaching all that junk. They didn't get called. Come on. Not by the same God I got called yeah. by. Come Amen. On, same because when he called me, he called me to preach in to preach yes. the truth Amen. and stand on the word of God. If they did get called, then I'm backed up from your calling. Come on. Amen. Because that ain't what he called them to preach. Yeah. Amen. But I don't know any preacher that's really called God. Don't preach his word. That's yeah. what they're called to preach. That's all he calls you to preach is his word. Yeah. He don't like I said. He don't promise that he's gonna give us a thousand people to preach to. Come on. Amen. He don't promise that he's gonna uh, give us a pocket full of money, but he did. He say he would take care of us. Amen. Amen. And he will. And he will. Yeah. Amen. But these people just turned it over, make a business out of the ministry. Shame on them. Amen. But brother Billy, that's where everybody wants to sow their seed. Amen. Everybody wants to jump on the wagon. Come on. Amen. Because they got the big churches and the big entertainment and all that's going on. They got, Come on. They got their, their big dinners and yeah. first one thing and other going on. And they got, uh, uh, they may have the power team coming in doing things for them yeah. and all that Come stuff. On. Just any kind of entertainment yeah. that comes down the track. That's what they think they're going to build a church on. Come on. You better build it on the Word of God. Because yeah. it's the only, my Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away. Come on. But his word will stand. Yeah. It's the only thing when everything gets shook, when the battle gets here, Sister Richard, when the trial gets here, when the heartache comes, honey, this is the only thing that's going to stand. Oh. You can take the same ones that's sending all their money to the TV bachelor, but when they when they get down and get in trouble and get to hurt, you watch them trying to find an old fashioned preacher somewhere that they know they're standing upon the water of God that oh. believes in prayer. You watch them call upon him wanting prayer. Amen. Want somebody that they know can get a hold of God. They don't want already a uh, TV evangelist or something there. They want somebody that they know that's living the truth and standing on God's word and want that's who they won't pray for. I mean that's who I won't pray for me. Amen. I want somebody that I know can get a hold of God. Amen. I ain't looking for somebody that I know can knows how to make money. Amen. I'm looking for somebody to get a hold of God. Amen. Come on. And church and, and everybody wants to sow the seed into that job. That's the reason these little old churches struggle. Amen. Because nobody and it's always been that way though. Yeah. Jesus didn't have a big crowd. Yeah. Amen. He didn't have a good big crowd. We ain't gonna have a big crowd. We're preaching the truth. And heaven ain't gonna be as crowded as people think it's gonna be. Come on. Amen. Hell's the one that enlarges itself every day. Yeah. Amen. And a lot of people is being seized. Yeah. What's over a man's soul? That shall he reap. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we better watch what we're sowing too. And what we're sowing. If we don't like what we're sowing. We don't like what we're reaping. We better change what we're sowing. Yeah. Amen. I don't know. So the Spirit. Amen. Because that's what matters. Amen. Amen. That's what matters. Most of all, get your heart right. Get your ground to it. Yes. Get your ground right where you can receive God's Word. Get it down inside your heart. Because there may be a come a day. Just the reason it wouldn't frighten me a bit that they don't take you away from us. Come on. And all we're going to have is what we got in our heart. Yeah. Amen. What we got in our heart is all we're going to have. So many people take this for granted. Amen. I think the word says, study to show yourself approved. I think that's for your pastor. That ain't just for your pastor. Come on. Amen. That ain't just for the evangelist. That ain't just for the Sunday school teacher. That's for you. But they said study to show yourself approved. It don't say study pastors to study for yourself. We all need to study. Amen. Yeah. By all the words you get, what you get here on Sunday morning, Tuesday night, you ain't getting enough word. Amen. You get in for yourself. Come on. Get you a little of it. Amen. See what God can do with it. And I promise you, you start reading it just a little bit, first thing you know, you get a little bit more, a little bit more. So you, later you get so wrapped up in it. There's times, brother, but I don't even want to lay it down. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where it's going. Yeah. There ain't no end to it. It just keeps going. Amen. And you can read it. This thing is alive, church. Amen. Amen. It's alive. You can read one scripture today and get a whole message out of it. You can read the same scripture tomorrow and get another message. Amen. It's alive. Amen. And it does its work. Amen. Come on. But keep your seed. Keep, get your ground ready to receive. Because if your ground ain't ready, Brother Billy, get up there and preach to you blue in the face. And it won't even look good. The Bible says we've got to be a doer, but we're not a hearer on it. Amen. If we hear it, hear it, and hear it, and hear it, and don't ever act on it, Brother Billy, it ain't doing no good. Amen. But if we're here and have our ground ready to receive what the preacher prays for, then it'll do good. Amen. That's what the Lord gives me. Give the Lord every word. Amen. Amen.